I was surprised at how how informed our teachers and at our table were. We could go through some notes and uh, those note alignments, and we would just cruise through them, and then all of a sudden something sticks out like a sore thumb when it needs to be worked over a little bit more. And I was just amazed at the efficiency and the expertise that the teachers had at our table and the professionals. They're not just teachers, but it was, it was incredible to see through. We would go through and next thing you know, like, yeah, 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 and then something would snag and everybody would say, we got to stop and look at this. And that was amazing to see that everybody at the table just would, would see that and we would, we would hop on it. Do the notes. Just that map in and of itself and the spider web and, and just the way it just goes everywhere. Comprehensiveness of it. Yeah, I think the comprehensiveness of it is because in just looking at that compared to the Common Core standards and it's just, it's all covered, it's all there. It makes sense too. You know, once you get in there, it makes total sense how the connections have been made. Me personally, <laughs> I haven't studied the Common Core uh, standards as thoroughly as some others and I was surprised by um, a lot of the, the, the um, things that were in there um, and how it will change. Um, um, English, English language arts teaching in the next couple of years, lots of changes are going to be made. So this was kind of nice for me to think about, wow, I need to change some things in my classroom, and I think these maps will definitely allow me to do that. And I just think um, the biggest aha for me was just from where we were in April in the first steps to where we're at today is an amazing leap in that short amount of time and the quality of the work that's been done in between. So it's been very exciting and I'm very pleased at the progress.